Okay, so I'm going to do a tutorial on a tie sleeking bag for kids since it's been requested. Um, basically, it's a knot blanket only tied into a sleeping bag form. Um, you can use as much fabric as you want or as little fabric as you want, whatever the size of the kid. This is two yards worth of fabric. And since my sewing room is not big enough, I'm using a bed. It'll be easier to show. So your fabric comes folded in half. Most of the time it's 58 inches wide. And like I said, you can get as much or as little as you need. This is two yards, which is a total of six feet. And is what I do is I just cut the fabric in half. So just right along where it's folded, I'll cut it in half. So as soon as I cut that, then I'll be right back. Just to kind of show the easy way to do this is I just lay it down and then I run my scissors along it. There's no science to it or anything. You don't have to be exact with your cutting, but I just cut right down that folded edge. Okay, so now it's cut in half. I try to do them, if I'm going to do one sleeping bag, I try to do two of them at once because you only need half of your other fabric. So you'll have two fabrics total. You'll want one that's going to go on the bottom, one that'll go on the top, and then you want a fabric that'll go as your middle fabric. So, and you'll want the same amount of your middle fabric as you got of your top fabric. So I got this to go with the ducks. Which is supposed to be two yards, but I got a little extra. Because it was the last bit on the bolt. So you can sometimes get a discount. So I just need to line up my fabric. and cut off my excess that I had. Again, no exact, these don't have to be exact because by the time you tie them, you won't even notice if they're the exact, but you'll want them close. And I might mention that you'll want a pretty sharp pair of scissors because after you cut fleece for a while, your hands will start to hurt if you don't have sharp scissors. So then with this piece, you're only going to use one side of it. So when you cut this in half, you'll only need to use one half of it. That's why I say if you're going to do one, do two, or you could make, I guess you could make pillows out of the other half because you'll only need one piece of it. And again, I just cut it right along the fold. Just like this. Run your scissors right along that folded edge. And I'll be right back. Okay, so that's cut in half. So I'm going to take the one half I don't need and pull it off. And now this half is going to get sandwiched in between my printed one.
Okay. So then once you have those two lined up, then you take your top piece that you had just pulled off and put it back on there. And then just make sure you get them lined up pretty good on top of each other so that way you're even. And you can cut off this part if you want. I don't bother because you won't really notice it. Um, some people do. I don't. Now this top piece, I have done it before where you fold it down and you can cut your strips with this on there or you could just cut this piece right off which this time I'm just gonna cut it right off. So you decide how much you want down. I would say it's probably 12 inches or so. Cause this up here will be the top. Sorry, I don't know if you could really see that. So you've got your bottom piece, then you've got your middle piece, and then this piece is the piece that they'll slide into. So I'm going to cut off the excess portions that I don't need to use. And again, if you wanted to use this extra stuff for to make a small pillow or something just to use your fabric up, you can do that. Again, I just fold it in half, and then I cut along my folded edge there. And now you have the makings for your Thai sleeping bag. Then, it's very simple from there. Basically, all you have to do is this is when you begin to cut your strips. Um, they don't have to be exact or anything. I cut about five inches in. But first is what you'll want to do is you'll want to cut probably a two to three inch square out of each corner. This will keep it from rounding and you'll get a much better like squared up. It won't round. And then you just cut your strips in. You want to make them, you know, long enough to where you can tie them. You'll notice when you're tying your fabric that one side will be stretchy and one side won't be stretchy. So just make sure that you cut them long enough to where they're not going to be complicated to tie. Now when you get up to this piece where they meet, I try to cut right on the line right here so that way your next cut will be through all three fabrics. So then you just cut, make your cuts. you're cutting all the way through all three of them too. That one I missed kind of a bit. Okay, and then after you cut them all, all you do is tie them. And I'll show you a tying method that I kind of, I prefer over the actual knot is you take it and you loop it through just like this. Now if your if your strings aren't long enough 
which these ones kind of aren't, so I'm going to have to go in a little bit further. You'll notice how long you'll need them to be of whether or not you can tie good enough. I'll just cut this one down a little bit further so I can show you how to tie. So you take it, you loop it around, and you pull all three pieces. right through the hole. Generally it's a lot easier than that, but my nails broke off. So, and then just make sure you have all of your pieces right through there. I must have missed one. So we'll tie that one again. Just gotta make sure you have all three. The three, where you have to do all three of them at the same time, is harder than doing just the two because you have to make sure you grab all three of them at the same time versus when you just have two it's not so hard and that's why I cut that extra piece off otherwise you have four pieces that you have to pull through and then your knots just come out looking better so, so that's all you have to do so I'll do a few more and then I'll show you a little bit more of the finished product Okay, so just to show you a little bit is that when you started tying them, you'll notice that some of them kind of start to gather a little bit. And when they gather like that is what you'll want to do. And let's see if I can show you this without wiggling the camera around too much. Is that you have your knots like this and they're tied so then you can kind of pull your fabric a little bit apart and it kind of loosens up that bunchiness so they're not so bunched up so that way they look like that so just so you get the gist of it see this is where we took out our little square and then I just cut in to match it up and see, then this way your corners don't round so much. And then you cut, when you make your cuts down this way, it won't round the corner. It'll make it more square. And then this is just all you do with the whole thing all the way down to the very end. And then on the other side. And then you have your sleeping bag. And that's how simple it is. Hope you guys can figure it out. Thanks.